bricks and concrete succumb to the sledgehammer as officials of the Lagos State Building Control Agency partially demolish houses allegedly developed without permit in a densely populated settlement in Lagos Island. Taken unaware, these residents can only stand afar and watch. Mostly affected are residential buildings that are still under construction. Even buildings that are already occupied by people are not left out. Workers found within the building are arrested in the process. Offences range from not obtaining building approval and breaking government seal. Every recalcitrant development will be visited, not just to be sealed again, to be toked. Like you're seeing behind me now, we're doing some partial demolition, not total demolition. In the, uh, we're well, believing that such a developer will come and do the needful, bring his drawings, apply for approval and obtain same. Right? Even if it's not conforming, we're trying to be, you know, I mean, our exercise now is to bring everybody to conformity. Yeah, 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 yeah. The buildings within these residential areas leave much to be desired. Surprisingly, though, the affected house owners and property developers do not show up and defend the allegations by the state government. The demolition is followed by sealing, meaning a stop work notice or no-go area. People largely ignore us because you can imagine government coming to seal a site and the developers having their country to continue working without a permit not even having a submission with government I want to do this is that people are just building contrary to what the laid down laws of the state. Lagos Island is the latest in the ongoing demolitions. The agency had also visited Ajegunle, Yaba and Ebutemeta areas in the past two weeks. Arrested and prosecuted up to 13 offenders and it has vowed to continue the exercise in other local government areas of the state.